dear students in this video i'll be providing you with a method of finding the eigen vectors so far we have learned how to find the eigen values of a square matrix of order n in this video you have to carefully watch what are the ways of finding eigen vectors corresponding to a given eigen value so first of all we have to determine an eigen value corresponding to that eigen value we can have an eigen vector or rather uh, uh, a particular eigen vector so if an eigen vector is given scalar multiple of that eigen vector is again an eigen vector that you can see so anyhow how to find at least one eigen vector corresponding to an eigen value lambda that's what we will be going to discuss in this video so just let us recall the definition of an eigen vector given a square matrix a an eigen value and an eigen value lambda of a so two things are to be given a square matrix a and an eigen value lambda of a are given we say that a non zero matrix x which is not equal to zero is an eigen vector of a corresponding to this lambda if this equation is okay that means this is what we call as eigen value eigen vector equation for the square matrix a ax equal to lambda x if you take lambda x to the left side and uh, simplify we will be getting something like like a minus lambda i in x is equal to 0 so it will be just like a system of equation so so b x is equal to 0 where b is equal to a minus lambda i so the very big question or rather a tough question is to uh, solve the capital x which is not equal to zero. how to find x is a big question that is what we are going to see in this video so let us have a flashback uh, in your last semester you have studied the method of solving a system of equations represented by something like bx equal to zero. this equation is what we call as set of non uh, this set of homogeneous equation if this is not equal to zero, we call it a set of uh, non homogeneous this one is homogeneous so the right hand side is zero if this is a zero matrix then this matrix equation represents a set of uh, uh, homogeneous system of equations so this can be solved by reducing b to its echelon form using gauss jordan method so here when we find x not equal to zero for the eigen value b will be just like a minus lambda i the procedure of gauss jordan elimination gives the required eigen vector x okay so let's have some examples for finding the eigen vectors corresponding to certain eigen values so first question is about 2 by 2 matrix a square matrix of order 2 find the eigen values and eigen vectors uh, corresponding to uh, corresponding eigen vectors for this matrix 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so as usual first of all we have to find the eigen values let lambda be an eigen value of a then Uh, this uh, eigen value equation uh, that is the characteristic equation must be there so determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 as you are familiar with finding the eigen values so 1 minus lambda 1 minus lambda only diagonals are to be changed by subtracting each from uh, from each lambda so it is 1 minus lambda 1 minus lambda the other two things will remain same so uh, subtracting so 1 minus lambda in 1 minus lambda is 1 minus lambda square minus of minus 1 into minus 1 is actually uh, minus 1 so you have to solve this one the easiest way is you just transfer this one to the other side so 1 minus lambda square is 1 so 1 minus lambda is plus or minus 1 so lambda will be equal to 1 plus or minus 1 which is 1 plus 1 is 2 uh, and 1 minus 1 is 0 so 0 and 2 are the eigen values of the given matrix now to each uh, lambda we have to find the eigen uh, vector so we have the eigen values lambda equal to 0 so to find the eigen vector corresponding to lambda equal to 0 let x not equal to 0 be the required eigen vector therefore this must be okay ax equal to lambda x which means a minus lambda x into equal to 0 the equal is equation number 1 putting lambda equal to 0 here you will be getting a this is this has become 0 so it will be getting ax is equal to 0 that means mm -hmm. Uh, this this is a the required let the required uh, x is like this x1 x2 uh, if it is 2 by 2 we have to write as x1 x2 which is 0 0 then 1 into x1 minus 1 into x2 that is x1 minus 2 x2 equal to 
minus 1 into x2, uh, sorry, minus 1 into x1 plus x, uh, x2 equal to 0, that means minus x1 plus x2 equal to 0. The fact, the, both are same, because you can see that the rank of this matrix is 1, so you'll be getting x1 equal to x2. You take e, x2 as a, the fact x1 also is a, so the required eigenvector will be x is equal to matrix x1, x2, which is a, a, you can bring that a outside, you'll be getting a into 1, 1. Usually this a is arbitrary, but for writing a particular eigenvector, we'll be taking a as 1, so we choose an eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 0 as uh, matrix 1, 1. So uh, one of the eigenvectors is given means you can have an infinite number of uh, eigenvectors by multiplying that by a scalar. So usually we take this as 1, 1. So corresponding to lambda equal to 0, this is the required eigenvector. So uh, remaining thing is what about when the eigenvalue is lambda equal to the same procedure we have to do. Equation 1 is a minus lambda i. In this a minus lambda i, we keep it as lambda as 2. So a minus 2i in x is equal to 0. Therefore, uh, 1 minus lambda, this is 1 minus 2, 1 minus lambda. The other things will remain. So this into x1, x2 equal to 0, 0. So minus 1 into x1, minus 1 into x2 equal to 0. The same equation will be. So you will have only one equation, namely uh, x1 plus x2 equal to 0, x1 plus x2 equal to 0. Uh, it means x1 equal to minus x2. So you choose x2 as a, the x1 will be minus a. So you'll be having x1, x2 as x1 is minus a, x2 is a. Therefore, you can bring a outside, it will be getting minus 1. 1, usually a is taken as 1. Therefore, the second eigenvector can be taken as minus 1, 1. So the problem is over. So we have found out eigenvalues corresponding to lambda equal to 0 as x equal to 1, 1 and corresponding to lambda equal to 2 as the eigenvector x minus 1, 1. So this is how we have to solve the uh, uh, problem. Now, uh, one more problem as an example. Find the eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors of the metric 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. This has been given as a homework for your uh, previous uh, assignment. Let lambda be an eigenvector of A uh, by solving that characteristic equation and all. You will be seeing that uh, the, this is the characteristic equation. So by trial and error, we will be putting, so minus 1, you can put minus 1, whole cube is minus 1, into minus 1 is 1. Uh, here is 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 into minus 1 is minus 3, so 3 minus 3 is becoming 0, therefore minus 1 is a root. To find the other roots, as I have uh, suggested, you can apply, uh, this is the characteristic equation. So you write minus 1, 0, 3 and 2 here, and then put the root outside and solve it. You'll be getting it as the next uh, quadratic factor, that is minus lambda square plus lambda plus 2 equal to 0. You'll be solving, you, you can multiply by minus and solve it, you'll be getting the other two eigenvalues as 2 and minus 1. So the uh, eigenvalues are minus 1 already obtained. Now again, minus 1 is repeating. So we have 2, minus 1, and minus 1 as the eigenvalues. Corresponding with uh, these three eigenvalues means we have to find eigenvalues corresponding to 2 and minus 1 because the third one is repeating. So to find the eigenvector corresponding to lambda 2, uh, this is the uh, uh, equation a minus lambda i means a minus 2i in x is equal to 0. This is a minus 2i when you put uh, uh, lambda equal to 2. A, a, from a you have to subtract 2 diagonal wise. So you'll be getting it as 0 minus 2, 0 minus 2, 0 minus 2 because in the given a you have 0 here. So the other things will remain same. So this is the matrix. That into the, so first of all, you know, before finding the x, you have to reduce it into its echelon form. So for that, row transformations are to be applied. Anyhow, you know that method. First of all, we take this, these two. As, so first, we interchange this one. This row is interchanged so that this will become 1. So the first leading thing is 1. This has to be made 0. For that, we have to apply row operations. This you might have learned. Uh, then you finally, it will be ending up with this one. That means 1 has the column containing all 0. Second element is 1, 0 then the third row, it is, uh, it ne there is no one. So that means you can see that this is the redundant row, redundant row, uh, 0, 0, 0. So 1 into, uh, so the corresponding, so you can again reduce, this can be made into 0 by applying this uh, row transformation, this row transformation, R1 changes, R1 is changed to R1 plus 2, R2, then this will become 0. So the uh, latest form is 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 0. So A has become equivalent to this matrix, so uh, this can be replaced. So this is uh, uh, now the new A minus, not A, it is A minus 2i. A minus 2i into required x is x1, x2, x3. So 1 into x1 minus x3 equal to 0. So you'll be getting two equations, x1 minus x3 equal to 0. Again, x1 minus x3 equal to 0. That means 
you have x1, sorry, x1 minus x3 equal to 0 and x2 minus x3 equal to 0. If x1 equal to x3 and x2 equal to x3, therefore you will be getting x1 equal to x2 equal to x3 equal to a. So everything is a, that means a can be brought out. So this can be taken as the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 2. Similarly, uh, you can find eigenvector corresponding lambda equal to minus 1. For that, you have to take a minus lambda again. Lambda is minus 1, so it will become a plus i. a plus i is like this. You have to simplify it. Uh, you can see that here there are two rows uh, becoming 0 after converting it into its uh, or reducing it into its echelon form. Therefore, this in x1, x2, x3 is equal to 0 means x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 0. You have only one equation containing three variables means two things are to be chosen arbitrarily. So let us take this as a and this as b. Uh, so it is uh, x1 is equal to minus x2 minus x3 that is minus a minus b that is minus of a plus b. So x1 is obtained in terms of a and b as a minus. So x1 is replaced by minus a plus b. We have chosen x2 as a and x3 as b. So uh, what are the things going on with a? a here, a here, there is no a here. So it is minus 1, 1, 0. a into that. b are coming up here and here only. The here is missing. So 0, minus 1. Uh, so so that, that means this is one of the eigenvector and this is the second eigenvector. So uh, you might have seen lambda equal to minus 1 repeats twice. So this is one of the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equal to minus 1 and this is the second vector. So the three eigenvectors, you can choose them as uh, what? These are the two eigenvectors uh, corresponding to lambda equal to minus 1 and corresponding to lambda equal to uh, 2 we have seen it is 1, 1, 1. So these are the eigenvectors. So a method of finding eigenvectors we require uh, in the case of uh, diagonalization also. Uh, you have to remember or you have to be well versed with uh, the method of finding the eigenvectors. Now there are two homeworks. This is uh, very easy to deal with because this is a, an upper triangle matrix. For an upper triangle matrix, you know the eigenvalues are the diagonal elements. So the eigenvalues are clearly obtained. You need not go for anything. So it is lambda equal to 1, lambda equal to 2, and lambda equal to 3. The only thing remains it is what are the eigenvectors. So three different eigenvectors you have to find out by solving that system of homogeneous equations. Another question here is find the eigenvalues and eigen, eigenvectors, corresponding eigenvectors for this matrix. Here also it is not, it is a symmetric actually. Symmetric will have, uh, real symmetric matrix will have, uh, what is it, real eigenvalues. So it will be getting three different uh, uh, eigenvalues for this one. Here also I give you the hint that the eigenvalues will be 2, minus 1, minus 1 as this. So in the case of that uh, already uh, ex ex uh, illustrated example. So do these two homeworks and uh, get back to me after you have found out the answer. Thank you for watching this video. This video provide, provided you with uh, some method of finding eigenvectors. Thank you.